know, that, that day for what I was feeling and I knew what I stood for, I didn't really care. I, I kind of bent the rules and broke them. And I remember writing, you know, I put Dax on my wrist, wristbands and I put it on my towel and I put it on my shoes. I put it like all over where I could. And um, to this day, it was probably one of the best games I ever played in my life. Wow. You know, I remember, uh, I remember going out there and uh, forced a fumble, made a big hit, got a big play, forced another fumble. And I remember like each time I would, uh, I would look up at the stand because I knew where my wife was sitting. And I remember, uh, I remember looking at her. And we tried to, you know, I celebrated what, you know, celebrated what I could. And, um, Playing again, I get another force home. This is like the third one. And at this point, I'm on like, I'm on cloud nine. Nothing, I'm unstoppable. You can't touch me. And I just had this, uh, I don't know, like the spirit was in me. Like I was just unstoppable. I was bulletproof. I was on fire. Now we ended up losing the game, but from an individual standpoint, like a, a personal victory, I mean, it was. I've never in my life felt what I felt that day. I had something just, I don't know, something was in me. And I'm, I'm thankful that I can. I'm thankful that I can, uh, excuse me. Thankful that I can uh, I can put on events like this for y'all because uh, I found strength in that family. I found strength in Dax, and I hadn't even never met the kid. I never even met him, but I, I saw his story, and um, I mean, he was this amazing kid. I had never met him, but it was just amazing. And uh, I just figured I should have with y'all. So there's another uh, mom who'd like to uh, share a story.